Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video. I'm doing Brexit, it's, an, it's a squad Octavia. And um, I want to show you the quality, the condition of the brake fluid. Um, I've, I've been flushing brake fluid out of the, of the system. Uh, the reason why, because the, it is now hygroscopic. And um, I just want to explain to you the importance of doing this so that uh, you can see the dangers and know how to avoid those dangers. So I'll be using this bottle here to collect all the brake fluid. I've got a pipe. As you can see, it goes back here to the, uh, to, to the, to the bleed nipple. Okay, I'm going to get someone to pump the brake pedal for me. And then I'll collect the, uh, the brake fluid. And then I'll show you the reason why I have... You make sure that the other end is dipped right in the... The other end should be in the brake fluid so that it doesn't suck air. All right, so I'm gonna crack this one open and then get someone to pump for me. Then I'll show you uh, the, the uh, color of the brake fluid. Then we'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah, do you pump? Right now, we are pumping the brake fluid out. Uh, I'll collect it in a container. Look, you can use a fancy container if you want. I just like to improvise, you know, and. And, and get away with costs of some of these things can look fancy, but you can always, you know, uh, improvise. So there you go. You can see that. Look at that brake fluid there. Okay. I'll go and make sure that I top it up in case I, it, it runs out of the master cylinder. So he's pumping. And you can see maybe bubbles tiny tiny bubbles in there see that just want to get rid of all the bubbles and uh, I'm trying to push all the dirty fluid out so I've just filled the master cylinder there so that it doesn't run out in the reservoir sorry right so let me continue now I have uh, collected brake fluid from the Skoda Octavia so this is the brake fluid that I collected. You can see the color. Okay, uh, let's compare that color with the new brake fluid. I'll put them side by side so that you see the difference. Okay, I know you can say, oh, this one, the other one looks dirty, which is correct. You might say it looks green. Some might say it's dark, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is new brake fluid, right? This is old brake fluid. So, why did I pull this one out? Is it simply because it has changed color? Yes, that's part of it, but what does that mean to you as the owner of the car or as a technician? So I have brought, this is new brake fluid. Look, I, I'm not marketing for this company. I don't even know them. I don't get, get paid by them. I can get any container and show you. Uh, so for you DIYs, you want dot four. Okay, this is just Department of Transport. That's what it means. You want dot four, all right, for your cars, all right. And um, let me explain the dangers. Mind you, when you're in the car, your life depends on this brake fluid. This can make a whole different. To you being alive or dead so when brake fluid comes to change color like this all right uh, what has happened this brake fluid is now old we say in technical terms that it is hygroscopic so the word is hygroscopic okay uh, it's not hydro it's hygro g-r-o right it is now hygroscopic which means that it now has moisture in it when brake fluid is new like this there is no moisture here unfortunately i don't have a weed tool there is a weed tool that you can just put it deep in brake fluid press it it will tell you if there's there's water in the brake fluid but i don't have it for the meantime maybe it's next time whenever i'm shooting another video i'll demonstrate that and show you so when there is moisture or water let's put it simple there's water now in the brake fluid so it makes it thick it makes it change color like that and what happens next the water that is in the brake fluid 
it starts to corrode the brake pipes inside. So on the outside, your brake pipe looks perfectly clean and nice. That's what you see on the outside. But the brake fluid that is inside is eating away on the material of this pipe. One day, you put your foot on the brakes, this thing just bursts open from inside. This is where it becomes dangerous. Because if it comes to me as a technician for MOT, I'll clean this pipe outside. And when it, as long as it looks clean like this, I'm satisfied. I'll send it for MOT and say, yeah, yeah, it is good, it's all right. But little did you know that inside it's rotten. So uh, we don't want brake fluid like this. The reason why brake fluid gets to this point is because people do not change brake fluid. Uh, technicians, sometimes we don't change, we don't care about this. But this can actually make a difference. Like he, in the UK here, uh, you, you, someone brings their car and then they're involved in an accident because the pipe burst, because of bad brake fluid. You as a technician, you go for manslaughter. Definitely you will. Okay, so be careful. Customers as well, you are the ones when a technician tells you your brake fluid needs change. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's all right. I don't want extra costs. This is your life. You know, how much, how much is a liter of brake fluid? So much. We pay for a lot of things. You know, this is cheaper than, a, you know, a, a, a beggar from whatever KFC or wherever you buy your beggars. And so let's be careful when it comes to this. So now <clears throat> I just want to explain, you know, the causes of hygroscopic. What causes us to be here, to get here from here. Uh, remember we started here and now we are here. Um, I don't know how many years it has taken for this to change from this state to it to this one here. But the the causes of this is uh, as as you drive the vehicle and then you apply brakes, um, heat is normally generated when you apply brakes because braking system converts kinetic energy to heat energy and that heat energy is now absorbed by the caliper and as the caliper gets hot uh, subsequently the brake fluid gets hot as well so as the fluid is now hot it means then that when you park the vehicle that vehicle that that brake fluid will start to cool down it is in the process of cooling down of the uh, of of the caliper and the fluid that moisture is formed because there's condensation there uh, moisture formation begins and that moisture is now deposited into the brake fluid and that process is repeated over and over and over the years. You know nothing. You're driving the car. Your brakes are fine. There are no leaks, nothing. But your pipes are being now corroded. Your braking system is being now attacked from inside out. So, And, and you're not aware. This is where it's, it's a silent killer. This is dangerous, people. Uh, let us heed to this uh, warning. This is to both technicians and vehicle owners because it is important that we adhere to this. And the other thing that I had forgotten to mention here is that as the brake fluid turns into hygroscopic, uh, it affects the pistons inside the calipers. They become pitted uh, because of rust. And when those pistons are pitted because of rust, then they, they start to seize, okay? They, they seize and now they are not moving and that affects brakes. What do we normally do? We just go and go to remove that caliper, take it to the motor factors and go and get another uh, 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 a, a, a reconditioned caliper or even buy a new one. Um, these calipers can be expensive. You're talking about 200 and something pounds for some of the real ones, especially for Volkswagens. And then we come and fit them with the old brake fluid.
this is where it becomes interesting with the old hygroscopic brake fluid and then you know the same thing happens again later on at a later stage so it's like a cycle you are spending money and this can be avoided so i hope that um you know as technicians we can take heed to this and uh, change the brake fluid every two years at least uh two to three years but i, I like to do it uh, every two years you know it would do you no harm if you do this annually at, at, at every service this will it will do you no harm it's good for the vehicle it's good for the uh for, for the owner of the vehicle and it is good for the technician as well so um if you have got any questions please feel free to come back to me uh give a pa um just comment on the on the video and then i'll come back to you if you need to know more um we will be able to have a discussion but i hope someone uh will be helped so much by uh this little talk this little lecture um and uh you pass it to your friends let people know let's spread the word about brake fluid the dangers that can be caused by brake fluid that is now hygroscopic i thank you all